Welcome back. Thank you guys for watching. If you have been keeping up with the videos, we're on video three now. And we're going to be talking a little bit about this portion in Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Now, uh, we just started back up at church on Sunday. So if I didn't get to see you, just know that I really, really miss you. And I can't wait for us all to be back together again. And I'm looking forward to that come fall. But like I was saying, we're going to go into Matthew today and we're going to go over three specific verses that I just had on my heart this week. And the passage in Matthew goes as this, and this is Jesus talking. So red letters, you can get your Bible in front of you, or you can just listen along, or you can look it up on your phone, or you can listen to me as you're watching YouTube, whatever you want to do. Just try to live here with me in the next five minutes, and I promise it won't take long. So in Matthew 11, 28 through 30, it states, Jesus says, come to me all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, I'm going to say that one more time, and I want you to count how many times do I say the word rest, okay? I'm going to say it one more time, slower, count how many times I say the word rest. He says, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now give you time to process. Great job. That was two times that Jesus mentioned the word rest and if he's saying a word more than once then we know that it's probably a word that we should look into. If you guys remember as we've been studying upstairs if there's a repetition or if there's a number that's been brought out we should probably give our attention to that. So in this scenario, Jesus mentions the word rest twice, as I stated before. And he says, first, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Okay, we need to note that in this passage, the rest that he's talking about are two separate rests. The first rest is Jesus come, saying, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He's talking to those who do not believe. He's saying, those who do not yet believe that I am the Son of God, Jesus is the Son of God, come to me and have rest. Come to me and have peace with God. Because if you remember, not all of us are children of God, as that's so popularly stated at times. Uh, if you've been on social media, if you talk to friends at school, some people will say, well, we're all children of God. Well, we know from the book of Ephesians that no, we're born children of wrath. We're separated from God. So. That first call that Jesus is making in Matthew 28 is he's saying, come to me and have rest. Come to me and have peace with God because you're far off from him. If you have yet to place your faith in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and the salvation of your soul, he's saying first, come and believe and we will have peace together. We can now be in right relationship with one another. That is the first rest that Jesus is addressing. Now we're going to go to the second rest. So. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest, peace with God. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. This second rest, I'm hoping I'm talking to you right now. I'm hoping that you're already believing in Jesus right now. If you haven't made that relationship with him right, so simple. All you have to do is believe. Believe what? That Jesus lived died and rose again for the forgiveness of your sins and the salvation of your souls. Because this second rest is so important and I think it's so uh, relevant to what we're struggling with today. We're struggling in our hearts because we don't feel peace. We don't feel patience with one another. We're quick to be angry. We're, we're not loving. We're in this place of confusion and chaos. But Jesus is saying, you come to me and you have peace with me. And then in the second rest, you get to enjoy the peace of God. Now, the peace of God is what the Holy Spirit gets to now bear witness of in your heart. All those great things that we say that we're lacking, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, self-control. These are the things that, are the, that come with having uh, peace with God and now get to bear witness uh, by the Spirit. It's the peace of God. And in the peace of God, uh, we get to experience that second rest. 
we get to experience him working through us, him manifesting the things that we're not able to have apart from him. So if you're like me and you're feeling frustrated, you're feeling angry, and you already have peace with God, I encourage you to just reflect a little, take a little time, even if it's five minutes, if you're still bearing with me, I'm so thankful for it. I ask that you would just pray. Pray that God would remind you of all the wonderful things that He has to offer you and that you would begin to practice submitting to Him. Where you're frustrated, where you're angry, where you're least patient, where you're most bothered, I'm asking you to maybe put your phone down for a little bit, maybe do a little self-reflection. And remember that chaos isn't necessarily always on the outside, it's always stemming from a place inside. And that's where we need the Holy Spirit to work, on the inside. And I'm hoping and praying that you can begin to experience the, experience the fruits of His Spirit that are always available to you if you just ask Him to do those things. So I appreciate you taking time with me. I appreciate you listening if you've listened this far. And I just would ask you to go ahead, read these verses by yourself. If you get some time later today, even right now, later tonight, I don't know when you might have time, and just ask God, where am I lacking? If I have peace with God, then I mean, that means I get to enjoy the peace of God. I get to enjoy the fruits of His Spirit. So I ask and encourage you to pray and ask Him to make those things known to you and make them realities in your heart because we could all use a little peace right now. I hope that you guys are staying safe and that you're staying healthy and I can't wait to see you soon.